Sports Hunted Fund. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with Mike Deakey, an old, a friend from an old part of the country that I used to live in, near Chattanooga, Tennessee. Yeah. Spent many years there and enjoyed flying there. Uh, you weren't in business at that time, unfortunately, but uh, you are now, and you're doing great with the Sky Cycle product. These are very light trikes that can make part 103, at least in some cases. And you've got some new stuff to talk to us about here, Mike. So welcome to Sun and Fun, and tell Thank us you. what's new on the Sky Cycle. Well, uh, for the 2014 season, um, I added these back fins. We just got those designed and finished, and uh, got a couple of sets made up for this. And is that just for looks, or uh, I mean, they do look good. In fact, the paint job on them is quite exquisite here. But uh, yes. what do they do for you, Mike? Well, it helps with stability while you're flying in the air. If you got any rough air, it'll it'll help you. Uh, keep a straight track. Kind of a vertical stabilizer for trikes, which don't have a tail plane, so that's where you put them. Is that's that correct? Right. Yes. Okay. Cool. What else you got that's new on the Sky Cycle that we haven't seen before? Well, I've got these wing assist compression struts that I put on here. Okay. And why would you do something like that? Why would you add those parts to this aircraft? Well, some pilots that I've uh, trained in the past have bad backs and they really can't lift a heavy wing up here to put it on the trike. Okay, so let's stop for just a second and think about how these aircraft go together. You don't lift the wing and put it up there. You have to attach it very securely. So that all leans down in front of the trike. The wing actually sits on the ground during yes. that time. But then you run into the point you've gotten to. Great, it's all attached, it's proper now. Now how you get it up there? Well, young strong guys have no trouble with that, but. Some of us yeah. that are a little older have some difficulty with that. Can't so, bend and lift very good. So what does this do for you then? I designed this uh, pulley mechanism, and this hooks on the your mast when you pull it down. You hook this on there with a jam cleat. It holds it in place while you're taking the wing off. And also when you're putting the wing on, you can put this jam cleat on here and pull it so the bolt is uh, perfectly lined up with a, your, there's no struggling getting your wing on. Now the reason why you would want to do that is because the wing wants to go up because yes. of these struts that you've had. Yes. There are 250 pound struts on each one of them. So if you didn't have the uh, restrainer mechanism here, yes. the wing would kind of want to leap up there and, and... It would take two people to do it then. This way it simplifies it and, and one person operation. You can handle it all by yourself yes. and you're not going to lose control of things. No. And tilt the aircraft back when it slaps up into position which just doesn't sound good at the words of it. Yeah, that's so right. you don't want to do things fast when you're assembling aircraft. This helps you do that. And, and it all tucks to, down there in a nice little yes. pocket for it and everything. So Got a little pocket down here. Everything goes in it. A little zipper. So little parts aren't going to get away from you because you do have a prop behind you. You want to keep track and of things in a truck. Can't get out of there. Excellent. And a lovely little instrument pod which you showed uh, you can tilts move it up around. and back. You can move it any way you want it while you're sitting it. In Beautiful. It. So people of different sizes can adjust it yes. or with uh -huh. sunshine on it in various ways. Excellent. Also, uh, I started putting the, the front wheel uh, steering stabilizer on there. Ah, uh, okay. That's what the strut I'm seeing right down there yes, is. Now, what correct. does that do for us, Mike? Uh, you can turn that knob on the end of it right here. Okay. And that'll tighten the steering. Ah, so it's an so adjustable, not just dampening, but it adjusts. It adjusts. Okay. I don't you can loosen it up or tighten it up for, and make that wheel not move at all hardly. So let's explain that a little bit too for those that aren't familiar with trikes. You do steer with your feet and it's what is sometimes called wrong way steering which is surprisingly easy to get used to but you do push with your right foot to go left. That's but on the, the ground. That's on the ground of course right in the air you don't have to it's just a foot rest basically and, and a place yes. for foot to foot throttle uh, which is also used so you can have your hands free to move the control bar. But when you're on the ground, those are generally, they move, uh, most trikes that I've flown, at least the older trikes, they move too easily. And it's, it's kind of easy to get yes. sort of a little oscillation that you it don't is. want, and the damper slows all that down. <clears throat> okay, great. So, uh, some, some cool stuff, and uh, over the years, Mike, you have uh, won several awards here at Sun and Fun, and other shows you've gone to, because, you know, just look at it, it's a beautiful piece of work, nicely done. 
So I'm not surprised that these judges that come around, by the way, they yeah. look very closely. You don't just get an award because you got a pretty paint job. That's right. Everything's got to be pretty right there, looking for the little thing that might be wrong, and that knocks you out. So you've done well, and you just got some news today. Yes, they handed me an award certificate to be at the award ceremony tonight at 6 o'clock. And you don't even know what for yet, right? don't even know what for yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, another award, and we're going to have a look at some of the ones you've won in the past, but uh, you've had quite a string of them, haven't you? Yes. So very cool. Yes, it's been good. Let's talk just for a moment, and then we're going to ask you for a web address. A Part 103 aircraft is one that can be flown without a pilot license, without N numbers, without a medical, therefore, of course, and you can sell them ready to fly. That's all legal. It's a rule that's been around for more than 30 years. It's worked really well, and FAA has left it alone. The entire regulation can be printed on one eight and a half piece of paper, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, front and back. That's it. And you have focused on that market, haven't yes, you, Mike? that's right. And uh, how well have you done with it? How many aircraft have you got out there flying? Um, uh, I probably got um, 250, 300 that I've built since I've owned the business, and I built probably 150. Before you took over Skyside. Before Sky I took over Skyside. Sky when somebody buys one of these trikes, it's for some people, for old hang glider pilots or guys that have flown other trikes that just want something really light that meets 103, they don't need too much. But for other people, trikes are easy to fly, but they intimidate some pilots that are used to stick and rudder. Do you do flight training as well, Mike? Yes, I do. I have a full-time flight uh, training program up in my airport at Jasper, Tennessee. Uh, from this time of the year all the way up through the fall, I'll be training new students every day. And I've been there. It's a lovely area in the uh, mountains and lakes and rivers yes. of Tennessee. Uh, it's pretty a place as you'll want to fly. Sometimes called the Grand Canyon of the East, actually. Yes, it's that right. pretty. Uh -huh. Well, you've got one other project that we just have to touch on. You don't have it here for us to look at it because your customer had to take it home. And that's cool, but uh, you're doing something new besides what you've been doing with the Sky yes. Cycle. What is that, Mike? Well, this past winter I built an electric Sky Cycle. I'll be cycle. there in a minute. I'm just going to come back around. Uh, I build an electric sky cycle. Uh, I use Randy Fishman's motor and his battery pack that he used. And, I, and the guy loved my trike so much that he wanted my frame on it. So we picked up the items from Randy and, and I built the, assembled it on the sky cycle. Uh, and you're just starting to get some experience with that pretty soon here? Yes, that's right. Um, All right, so that's exciting. And you know, electric aircraft are literally a lot of buzz, pardon the pun but uh, uh, they don't work very well on heavy aircraft because batteries are heavy and it's a challenge that's gonna take a while before we get two and four seat aircraft that are really uh, capable with electric. But with an aircraft this light, it can work right away, can't it? Yes, I put a 17 meter uh, uh, north wing Solaris wing on it so you can get up and, and at your altitude really fast. You can turn the motor down and you're not burning as much electricity while you're flying. And that means you can restart it again, too. So, yes. so these wings can be taken up, especially in Tennessee, there where you're at, some great soaring conditions. Yes. Fly That's around right. as much as you like, and when you're ready, just move that throttle back yep. forward, or, or the rheostat back forward, I guess we have to learn to say. Yes. And uh, the juice will take you back home again. You have about an hour and a half of flying time with the battery pack that I put on this one here. Wow, well, hour and a half. So, and literally, uh, the climb rate, let's just say three or four or five hundred feet a minute, whatever yes, the number is, in right. a few minutes, literally a few minutes, you're at altitude to find lifting conditions yes. and you can fly around. You still got a lot of juice left yes. to get you back to the airport or to the next thermal. Mm -hmm. Great stuff, right. Mike. Thanks for telling us about the new electric project. You're welcome. Thank you. Very cool. Where do we get even more information from you, Mike? Where do we find you on the web? Well, my web address is flyhardtrikes.com. All right. I've got lots of information, uh, partly on the Sky Cycle, many other trikes as well, many light aircraft, and lots of videos, including earlier ones with Mike. You can find all that on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks so much for joining Mike Thiecki and I here at Sun and Fun.